What's up everybody, my name is Fab Casso and thanks again for uh, joining me for another little uh, custom video. Today's custom video will consist of turning some beat Air Force Ones into uh, well, I'm going to just show y'all. I'm going to show y'all how to do this. Hold on, let me uh, adjust some of that ISO. I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to show you all how to spice up a pair of uh, Air Force Ones. Of course, this is not my sneaker. Somebody else's sneaker. They just let me uh, practice with them on these, and they're gonna get them. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Nice and simple. So, of course, this is what they looked like originally, and this is what I'm turning them into. So, without any further ado the list of stuff you're gonna need. All right, so first you're gonna need the sneaker, shoe, whatever you wanna do. Next, you're gonna need some tape so you can uh, tape off the sections that you wanna put the fabric or the bandana in this case. Next, some infinity bar cement where you can get from Amazon like you get everything else. Next, it's gonna be uh, this old behind brush so I could spread the glue uh, some scissors and a little uh, little knife knife thing and the last piece to resistance is the bandanas that I will be cutting up and as you see I already use it you don't even need that many you can just buy one and just use the sections of the one probably yeah you can do the one just use the sections off that so Let's get into this uh, sneaker right here. Before everybody say something like, I'm not going to even unlace the sneakers because I said it's no biggie. The laces aren't going to get in the way. So I'm not going to unlace them. I already cleaned off the sneaker. I used acetone on the sneaker parts where I'm going to be putting it. Just to take off that first uh, layer. Uh, now I can get into the sneaker custom. So let's go. All right, so the first part of the process I'll be doing is I'm going to be doing the toe box. So nice and easy what I'm going to do come on the tape works with me I'm gonna tape off the toe box where I'm gonna be putting the fabric boom you guys follow me? Nice and simple so far, right? Next, I'm gonna use my knife to cut the toe box out. So I'm gonna do that real quick, then we'll go on to the next. Now that I cut off the uh, layer that I don't need, I'm gonna peel this up, just like that. Put the shoe to the side for the time being, and now, my bandana so what you're gonna do next is just find a location where you want to use the design and I'm gonna try to match it to the other side as much as possible so I'm gonna use this right here and it'll be like this I think yeah it's like this if it's not exactly like oh well still gonna look nice and I'm just gonna cut it small for the time being, just to give me a better, not even better, easier uh, thing to work with. So this is whole thing's not flopping all over the place. So now that I have a smaller piece, I could trim this up even more. I'm just not gonna show you guys how I trim this up. I'm gonna trim this up. Then I'll show y'all what I'll do next. All right, so the process now, what I'm going to be doing is the barge infinity cement. I'm going to be placing it on the toe box and then placing it on the actual fabric. You can't send, like, I don't know, the way barge cement is, you have to, like, put it on both parts for it to stick properly. You can't just, like, put it on the shoe and just stick this down and expect it to stick. That's just how it is. So, nice and easy. It comes with a brush too, but it's like big crazy, so I have a smaller brush. 
just to get the corners and everything. So, just like if you're painting a sneaker. So I'm gonna spread it out as much as I can. Now I'm gonna use my smaller brush to get the edges and everything of the sneaker. Now that it's on the toe box, now I'm gonna pretty much do the same to the back of the fabric. Then after I put it on the back of the fabric, I'm gonna line it up and place it down. So I'll be right back so you'll see what it looks like. All right, and as simple as that, the uh, fabric is on the front of the sneaker. So uh, nice and easy. And now what I'm gonna do is repeat the process, which I, I don't think I really have to show you guys. Repeat the process for this inside panel and the outside panel. So pretty much, I'm gonna show y'all again this is how it's gonna come out. It's gonna have it on the, that side, of course the toe box, and the inside panel. A few moments later. All right, and just like that, the sneakers are done. And to make sure they adhere right, so I don't have to worry about them separating or anything, I'm gonna just have them sit for overnight, pretty much 24 hours. Uh, I told him that he'll get his sneakers this weekend, so there's really no rush. Got some days. But yeah, nice simple custom. As you can see, you don't need a whole sewing machine or a uh, singer and all that stuff. And just like I showed you in the last video with the Dragon Ball Z video, you don't need it because I did the same technique to my uh, Air Jordan 1s that I did to these. I just didn't unsew it then put the fabric in. But as you see, it's it's fine. And these are going to be uh, definitely permanent with the cement. So yeah, simple as that. You could do your own sneaker using any fabric you want. A cheaper way if you don't have, or if you just don't have access to any uh, sewing machines or anything like that. All right, so and just like that, the custom is over. Uh, again, what you'll need if you want to do this custom, some tape, scissors, a knife to cut that, cut the tape, and the fabric whatever fabric you were you plan on using so yeah simple easy custom for you guys to do at home uh thanks again for watching hopefully this was enjoyable it's not going to be a long video probably about a eight minute video after the edits let's see if i uh, guess right but thanks again for watching the video again my name is fab casso you can also follow me over there on instagram that is also fab casso one word f-a-b-c-a-s-s-o -S -S and uh Thanks again for everybody for uh, watching the video, liking the other videos, subscribing. I got one video that's almost at 100K. That's freaking awesome. Uh, thanks. Thank you guys for all your support. Until next time, peace.